Are fountain pens easy to use? Well, driving an automatic is definitely easier than driving a stick, and baking with a pre-made mix is definitely easier than baking something from scratch, right? But I think you'd agree that the more complicated things often provide you with a more immersive experience, right? Fountain pens are largely the same. They are, yeah, more complicated than buying a rollerball or a ballpoint off the shelf, but probably not as complicated as you might think and totally worth it. Hi, my name is Drew Brown from the Goulet Pen Company, and today I'm going to show you the very basics of how a fountain pen works so that you can decide for yourself whether or not it's easy. If you're not familiar with what a fountain pen is, it's one of these things. The most instantly recognizable thing is probably this. Instead of a tiny little ball that rolls ink around on the paper, there is a metal nib and then a plastic feed. They are sandwiched together and ink travels between the two to get to the paper. As far as ink goes, the most simple way to get ink into a fountain pen is by using a pre-filled ink cartridge. You simply plug it into the back of the pen. It is punctured by a little post inside of the grip here and ink is already flowing. You're ready to write. That's it. Once they're all empty, you unplug them, throw them away, put in a new one, and you're good to go again. As far as maintenance goes, if you're gonna switch colors, it's a good idea to flush this with water. An easy, easy way to do it is by using a bulb syringe. Fill this with water, plug this up, and just it gets totally clean, very fast, super cheap, super easy, and you're ready to go again. Now you will want to always cap your fountain pen when it's not in use. The fountain pen ink is way more watery than the goop that you find inside of a ballpoint pen, so it will dry out if you leave it uncapped. However, unlike a ballpoint pen, the fountain pen does not need to be pushed down onto the paper to create a line. You simply just drag it across. You wanna always make sure that the metal part is facing up, and once it is being dragged across the paper, ink is just going to flow without any friction or downward pressing from your hand. It's really, really comfortable on your wrist, really easy to use. So that is essentially it in its most bare form. What do you think? Easy to use, hard to use? Now is where you can choose to ramp up a little bit of the complication, but also ramp up a lot of the enjoyment. If you stick with the ink cartridges that we talked about, you're gonna have a lot of variety of colors to choose from. However, if you decide to go with a pen that can fill internally using one of these, you get access to hundreds of different colors. So one of these things is called a cartridge converter. It converts your pen from a cartridge pen to a pen that can take up bottled ink using this piston unit. Some pens might even have the piston inside of the barrel itself, like that. Either way, this process is simple. You simply submerge the nib into your bottle of ink and draw it up. Wipe off any excess ink from the nib in the feed and you're ready to go. While choosing your ink is one great way to customize your writing experience, you can also do it by selecting your nib size. When you purchase a new fountain pen, you often get a choice between a more fine line or a more broad line or somewhere in between. You get to choose. Generally though, fountain pens are not made to create crazy looking calligraphy lines like you might think. More often than not, the lines are pretty basic lines, and the people that are using them are using them to write normal everyday things. So what I just described was the very basic operation of a fountain pen. And just like driving or baking, it can be just as complicated or simple as you'd like for it to be. If you really wanted to go down the rabbit hole, you could choose to buy some crazy funky different inks. You could get into different types of paper. It's really up to you. So are fountain pens easy to use? I don't know, why not try and see for yourself? If this sounds like something you'd like to learn more about, great! We've got a ton of great content on our YouTube channel, a lot of videos for getting started with fountain pens, and even more stuff on our store, gouletpens.com. We are here for you, we wanna help. Let us know if we can do that. Until then, have fun, right on.